Here we have Bali. This is the horn number 14,850. Oh my god, it's absolutely freezing in here. I'm standing inside one of the largest seed banks in the EU where scientists keep over 20,000 different kinds of the barley plant. Now what does this place have to do with this? Prost! For a country that loves beer as much as this, it's no surprise that some of the world's top researchers on barley, a key beer ingredient, are working here in Germany. Well, barley is a very important crop plant for animal feed, but also for the brewing industry, the malting industry. Making good beer like what these happy folks at Oktoberfest are swilling by the liter depends on consistency in the barley seeds. Climate change impacts like drought can throw this out of whack. In this respect, climate change has an impact, of course, on malting quality. Neil Stein is a geneticist who says the key to protecting barley from climate change might be buried in its DNA. The value of these genetic resources is immense. Uh, there is a strong interest today to evaluate non-adapted or less adapted material from gene banks like Gardasleben or from all over the world. Their possible use in less favorable conditions like we can imagine uh, to be more frequently the case during climate change scenarios. So if we understand the genetic basis of tolerance to cold climate, to drought, to, to heat, then we can also uh, use this information and uh, as an input for more di direct breeding or selection for these properties and improving our, our current calibers. Stein has more than beer on his brain. The challenge has implications outside these tents too. Climate change has not a specific impact on, on malting barley, but on, on barley production per se, or cereal production. Barley is the world's fourth most produced cereal, which means the same science protecting this could help prevent this. Thousands of Syrians have lost their lives in the conflict. Recent drought in Syria devastated the barley crop there, a crippling loss conflict experts have linked to that country's ongoing bloody civil war. And in 2010, global grain prices spiked after supplies nosedived when severe drought struck Russia. So climate is, is definitely the most important factor that influences the yield. While Russia's recent drought probably wasn't spurred by greenhouse gas emissions, last month's major IPCC report predicts droughts like this and when you crunch it up, this turns into dust, are likely to become more common in much of the world. Meanwhile, a recent UN report pointed to future severe weather as a leading cause of widespread food insecurity. The solutions could be growing right here. In, in a greenhouse like this, we can grow basically 40,000 plants at one, one stage. Stein's team is looking for answers by growing thousands of different barley breeds under various climates that mimic possible future conditions. So you have to grow them in a very dry and hot climate to find out which one is tolerant or resistant against drought. I'm sure you find any trait you are interested in in this collection. It is just a matter of searching for it. If scientists can pin down what makes certain barleys more resistant to drought and heat, it could also offer genetic clues for how to climate-proof wheat, an even more important staple with a similar but more complex genome. So then it's a matter of which system is easier to work with. And we are convinced that, and our, our work shows it, it's easier to sequence the barley genome. And then we can take this resource and uh, make crosses and try to improve our culti modern cultivars. Now that's got to be worth a cheers. Prost. Or a prost. Yeah.